this video, I'll show you how to control a nested animation to not only play forward, but also in reverse using Adobe Animate CC. Now the advantage of the new reverse feature allows you to play a nested animation in reverse inside a graphic symbol. If I click on the door, we can see it's a graphic symbol named door. And so let's double click the door symbol to edit it. Along the top here inside the edit bar, it'll show us that we are inside the door symbol. Now these are all the layers and frames that contain the door animation. You'll notice the entire animation is just the door appearing, then opening, and then disappearing. I'm making note of where in the timeline the door is fully animated in the open position. It's between frames 45 and 48. Back out on the main timeline, I've decided what frame I need the door symbol to play in reverse. Frame 147 will be that moment the door plays in reverse. But first, let's add a keyframe on this frame by going to Insert Timeline Keyframe. Alternatively, you can press the F6 key to insert a keyframe as well. With the door symbol selected, look in the looping section of the properties panel, and here you'll find several options for how you can control how this graphic symbol plays starting on the keyframe we just added on frame 147. For this example, we're going to use a dedicated panel called the Frame Picker to control our door symbol. With the Frame Picker open and the door symbol selected, the panel will update showing me thumbnails of all the frames inside the symbol. In this drop-down menu, I can select Loop, Play Once, Single Frame, Reverse Play Once, and Reverse Loop. Making sure I am on the correct keyframe, I'm going to select Single Frame. After the ball has been animated through the door, I moved the ball and its shadow assets to a layer below the door. This is because I want the door to close in front of the ball. Back on the door layer, I can go ahead and insert a new keyframe, which is where I'm going to tell the symbol to reverse play its animation. From the Frame Picker drop-down menu, select Reverse Play Once. Alternatively, you can select this option from the Properties panel as well. Just to make sure, I'm going to select frame 45 of the door symbol for the symbol to play in reverse from. Now when we play the timeline, we'll see the door symbol play in reverse from frame 45 back to frame 1. So just to recap what's happening, I'm telling the door symbol to play the nested animation in reverse, starting from frame 45 back to its first frame. So with the added ability to play nested animations forward and in reverse, you can get more out of your animations, which will help reduce production time. Thanks for watching, and until next time.